Hey y'all, I'm here, I'm back. I'm so sorry, y'all. This, I always, I have such a chaotic life. Like there's never a time that I can just do what I want to do and something not happen. I apologize to y'all. I am here to do, what is this? The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Not this past week that came on this week but last week's episode whatever it'll say it but not this past week that came on like what's today friday two days ago so two days ago today's friday so that's two days ago the one before that last week because i wanted to give y'all that review so and i still haven't even watched that other one but i'm gonna get to watch that and i'm gonna get that done this week and so that i'm caught up and then hopefully my life can become more stable again and then i can continue to give y'all the reviews but i didn't want to short y'all so all right, so, okay, so I believe in y'all, please work with me, because like I said, I saw this like a week ago, but I have notes. So, okay, if I remember correctly, this is following up for what happened last time. Now, last, well, we left off last, Sutton and Diane was like arguing back and forth or whatever, and Kyle, um, I think Sutton had called, oh, also you have to let y'all know, I'm a, I'm a little bit, little bit tipsy, just, just a little bit, so just like work with me i like to give people that on set before i like do my review um when i do drink anyway so sutton had called diane soulless and i was like you can't do that you can't call her soulless that's so mean that's so mean call shut up and so then um Sutton was pretty much just saying like, you know, I do understand what you're going through because I was like, I went through a miscarriage and someone was like, I understand because I've went through uh, uh, miscarriages too, but then they still keep going back and forth and then Sutton calls Diane a mother. That was funny to me. Um, And then Kyle was like, well, look, 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 look. When talking to Sutton, like, when did you, when the fuck did you lose a baby? Like, I guess when Sutton said that she had lost a baby, she was like, when did you lose a baby? In her, in, in her confessional, Kyle, I think was like, you know, I've never heard anything about that till right now. So it just kind of feels like, did that really happen? Or are you just kind of bringing it up just to bring it up? And then she was like, Sutton was like, I actually did. I think she said she maybe had two miscarriages. And then Kyle was like, okay, that's fine and everything. But like, she just went through this, okay? You went through it. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But you went through it a long time ago. I said, Kyle was fucked up. Kyle was fucked up the way I'm fucked up right now. That shit was funny as hell to me. Um. So then Sutton started crying. And for some reason, she started apologizing to Diana. Like, this is where, again, I can't get jiggy with Sutton why do you go out of your way like you talk so much shit about people and how you don't give up you know f but then it's like you still go out of your way to do the absolute most to befriend them because you do that you've done that with erica as well in the past so that's the only thing that kind of but like why are you crying and saying sorry to her she was rude as hell to you for no reason so Sutton end up hugging um, Diane. She's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And Diane is not hugging her back. She's just like, but she's not hugging her back because it's not real. And even Diane said it's not real. She's just doing it to get over with it. So then we go over to Erica's drunk ass. And I'm not going to judge because that's where I'm at. So I ain't going to judge too hard right this episode. You ever hear shit in the house and y'all by yourself and you'll be like, what the fuck is that? That's just what happened. Anyway, so erica pretty much started flirting with oliver and y'all know oliver oliver's cute oliver's cute don't be sad for real for real um and um she was like you know call your baby mama i mean call your wife and people was took offense to her saying baby mama which i understand she's like call her and see if she's willing to do a three-way she really wanted that man i mean i'm gonna touch on that because i seen some people was upset about that part but i'm gonna point out later why i don't really see why that's that big of a deal like oliver's a grown-ass man oliver's like almost 30 he's grown yeah that's her son but he's still grown and i'm gonna point something out later too that was said but like he is fine i ain't gonna hold you he is but um so she hold on why do i keep hearing shit i am fucking tripping right now um so she kept flirting with him or whatever. So then everybody pretty much gets up to leave. So Dorit and Erica are sitting next to each other. 
um at the party because we're at Garcelle's party sorry still and everybody's leaving Garcelle's leaving this stuff and so I think somebody told Jax to go Jax which is Garcelle's son to go and get the flowers so he went to go and get the flowers and Erica's drunk ass was like uh get the fuck out of here get no get get the fuck out of here and Dorit was like don't say that don't say that that's a child and he was like well dad so then Dorit and her now at that point in time Dorit and her professional says I feel bad because she cursed at him and that wasn't necessary whatever so then when Jax grabs the flowers and walks up to Garcelle she was like he said dad I got cursed out for you know just grabbing some flowers and Garcelle was like what he was like I got cursed out just for grabbing some flowers she told me to shut the f up he's like Erica did and she's like yeah so Garcelle like a real mama did came inside and said you told Jax to shut the fuck up that's not cool it's not cool at all and then Erica's drunk ass is like, are you serious? Are you serious, Jax? Come here. Come here. Come here. Like, being super, super drunk and belligerent as hell. So, um, then we get, so the next morning or whatever, we see, like, Garcelle, and she's, like, getting ready and stuff, right? I want to point this out to y'all, and I'm not saying that they're right, but I'm just pointing it out. Um... When Garcelle was getting ready, like, her hair person and her makeup person was helping her. She was telling them everything that happened the night before and how Erica had cursed at Jax. If y'all go back and look, because I wrote this down and I was specifically remember it because it stood out to me. Because I also want to say, I saw all of the, the, the hum humbub on Twitter before the episode even came out. But I do not like going off of clips. I want to see the whole episode in its totality before I really go in there and start to drag the fuck out of people. And I know Lisa Renna had the whole racist thing, but I like to see shit play out on TV, the whole thing, and then I make my decision. But during this time, when Garcelle was like, um, you know, I just think that she was really, really, really drunk. And her, I think it was hair person or makeup person, that the guy, he was like, well, you know what? She's getting drunk. We love to see it. And she was like, Garcelle was like, we love to see it. No, we don't. He was like, and he just started laughing. So even he thought it was funny. Not to say that it was right, but her own hairstylist thought that it was funny and said, we love to see it. Like, we love to see her pretty much, like, acting out pretty much to a degree. So then we do this little scene with Crystal and the Reed and they're doing, like, the self-defense. Who cares? um Kyle and Sutton end up meeting up and they have a conversation sorry and um damn I don't have my mic I'm sorry I don't have my mic I just realized that on some like tipsy shit um but Kyle apologizes to Sutton for what she said pretty much like you know I guess she apologized for the whole like miscarriage statement she was like it just seemed like in the time that you just pulled that out as convenience because you've never told me that before which i could see where kyle was coming from honestly it's just the fact that she caught her out right there on the spot was bold as hell that's why i said i will give kyle the fact that kyle does a lot of times call people out she'll talk about people behind their back but a lot of times if she do have a specific problem she will tell that person so, you know, it's just depending on how you like to take things. So, whatever. They had dinner. They cleared that up, okay? Um. Then this is, like, around Thanksgiving time. So, we see everybody having Thanksgiving or whatever. So, then Lisa goes over to see Diane. And they sit down and, like, talk. And because, remember, Lisa wasn't at Garcelle's party. So, Diane is pretty much telling her about how that went. And, you know, how Sutton was just being really fake. And, you know, um, again, she keeps bringing up the whole thing about, like, what she said about, what was it, her brother. And she's like, she brought up her dad. And, like I said, I stand by the fact that I believe that Sutton was just trying to relate to Diane. I don't think she was trying to, like, make it about her. I think she was trying to relate because you said that, oh, I think Garcelle might have said something like, or somebody said it's hard to lose a family member that's Sutton and that's close to you like that. And you said, yeah. So, she was trying to use that to me to relate not to be like make it about her like i don't know diane's weird as hell so then we see dorit and pk at kyle and finance mauricio's house and um they pretty much start talking about the whole thing with garcelle's son and what um erica had said to him and kyle at first said 
it's funny, but it's not funny. And then Mauricio said, I find it fine as Mauricio, uh, Mauricio said, I find it funny. I think it's funny as hell. And then Dorit said, well, the reason I'm going to give her a pass, I mean, not my child. It's not my child, but I would give her a pass because I feel like she's, you know, she's finally letting loose. And Kyle's like, you know, because, you know, Erica's never been that loose around us and she's never been that open. And then PK is on the side like, you know, after everything she's been through, she deserves a blowout. Y'all are all full of shit. Because if Erica would have did that to any of y'all kids, y'all would have completely snapped. So to say, and, and Dari, I don't understand because you literally said when it happened at the time that that was wrong. You was telling Erica, don't say that. But now you want to say, oh, well, it's not my kid. And pretty much if it was my kid, I wouldn't give it a pass. But it's okay because she's allowed to let loose. So let me get this right. She's okay to harass and to disrespect people's children. And that's fine because now she's being open. But if it was one of you guys, I guarantee it would not be that simple. Guarantee it would not be that simple. So all y'all is full of shit, including finance Marisa. Oh, I find it funny. Yeah, y'all find it funny until it's y'all. And that's, and that's exactly, bruh. This is exact. Y'all talk so much shit about Crystal, but real shit, this is what Crystal was talking about. When Crystal said, y'all always care until it affects you. Because now, all of a sudden, now, I was, I was like, but now it's okay, right? That Erica did that. But if Erica did that to any one of y'all kids, y'all would not be with a point blank period. And Dorit even kind of alluded to that when she said, I mean, it's not my kid, so. Get, get, get all of y'all out of here. Get out of here. So then we go to Sutton's um, housewarming. And um, before we get there, Garcelle and, is it Cherie? Cherie, okay, Cherie, sit down and, you know, Cherie comes over and stuff like that. And they're talking about what Erica said. And Garcelle pretty much said that she's going to pretty much check Erica at the party and tell her, like, that that shit wasn't cool and it wasn't called for. Now, when they first started talking about it, Sheree was like, um, um, she was like, I think, no, Garcelle was like, yeah, somebody was crushing on Oliver. And Sheree was like, who, me? Do you get what I'm saying? And she was like, no, Erica, and started laughing. So that part right there doesn't really bother me. Because even Sheree was like, girl, I'm sorry, but your son is fine. He's fine, girl. I don't know what you want from me. He's fine. So that part of Oliver doesn't bother me. Just the Jacks part bothered me. But anyway, they went to the party and stuff. And that shit was so funny. I got it. I got like a whole bunch of laughing emojis. Erica was like, girl, I don't care about Sutton. Because they was like, oh, you know, like you're going to Sutton's house and stuff. And she was like, girl, I'm not worried about Sutton. I'm worried about a Haitian mom, pretty much. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about a Haitian mama that's pretty much about to beat my damn ass. And I said, well, at least you know. At least you know what you're walking into, girl. At least you know that you was out of pocket and that that Haitian mama going to come out and come for that ass. At least she know. So then um, we do like a flashback to when I guess Erica and Crystal was together. And I'm like really tripping. And Erica was like, Oh, you know, like, I didn't mean to say that to them, you know, like, like, that was wrong, pretty much. And she said, but to be fair, it's not like they're, like, 12 or something, like, you know, like, they're 16. And she said, they're not 16, they're, I think she said they're, like, 14 or something like that. And no shade, every single time that Garcelle says how old they are, that shit blows my mind, because them kids... I don't know, it's something in the water, but them kids are big as hell. I ain't gonna hold you. I would think them kids are 16 too. Like, they're, they're I think it's because they're just super tall or whatever. Like, them kids look 16. I ain't gonna hold you. So, I don't know. I ain't, she ain't lying there. Her kids look much older than what they are. Not even trying to be funny. Um, so, you know, flashback to that. Now, Garcelle had, like, seen, you know... Erica and Erica was like, you know, this time I'm only gonna get one drink. Like, I'm gonna get one drink. And Garcelle was like, yeah, you should, you should. Now, at that point in time, I feel like Erica should have took that moment to turn to Garcelle and say, look, you know, I'm very sorry, you know, about, you know, the way that I acted and stuff. Like, I should have never said that to your son, you know, like, seeing how you're already alluding to the fact that you drank a lot last night, you should have just got it out the way right there. And I think Garcelle was trying to give her that opportunity to do that. And to say that, but 
Erica never took that chance, and she should have, especially. But I think she was like, I think she was scared, and she scared us of ourselves. Be quite honest. Um. So then we go out. You know, um, Sutton shows everybody her half done house. And then, you know, she um, brings everybody out to the yard and stuff. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. This yard was in the mud. I mean, you know, get it how you live, but it was in the mud. I ain't gonna hold you. So, they sat there, and um, it was cold. Don't, don't, don't do that again, Sutton. Don't, don't ever do that again. Like, if you wanna do it, just keep it inside your house. Or if you ain't got a platform or something for your shit to sit on, just don't do it. Because you know these bitches be wearing, like, heels and Louis Vuittons and all that stuff. So, like... Don't do that next time. Anyway, so they all sit down and um, you know, Dari talks about how she's doing and you know, I think Cherie, I think this is Cherie's like entrance into being like the friend of the show and trying to get on the show more because you can see she's interacting more. She like had a nice little speaking part, not like it's a play, but like a you know a nice little back and forth with Dari about you know. How she needs to, you know, just stay strong and she'll be okay. And I said, okay, girl, I, I see you you getting in with the girls and you talk more so we can see you more. Got you, bitch. And so um, at the end of the episode, um, I don't know how we got on to Sutton. But some way, somehow, Sutton said something and Lisa was like, oh, no, no, no. Because I'm about Diane came up. That's right, because Diane didn't come. And uh, they was like, oh, Sutton, did you invite her? And I think Sutton said, I did invite her, which is still weird as fuck. Because, like, why would you invite her? But then um, she was like, yeah, you know, I think she's just like really mean or something. And Lisa was like, well, Sutton, you're passive aggressive. You're very passive aggressive. And so I was like, no, I'm not. And then it just went off. These bitches, literally, they, they gave me a headache. This episode was like dumb as far as I'm concerned. Ain't nothing really, really good happened. Um, but y'all gave a comment. Y'all tell me what, what y'all think. Like I said, I'll be back by the end of the weekend with the review.